Well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. Hey there. Uh. So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense tuning on past mistakes. Uh, right.
Is a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. Card. The authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> Though you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, it could destroy the planet unless we stop him. I see. Then I have one more sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit. Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess.
She is! Cloud, my boy! Still got that keycard. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? You can't be rush a genius, after all.
I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! <laughs> yeah. Don't haunt me! Please! I can explain! Drop him. <laughs> giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any... Ah! <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Don't haunt me! Please! I can explain! <sighs> Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I.
Let's do this. I got you now.
I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. That's how you want your story to end? Your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet, come on. There might be top secret material hidden somewhere here. Is that all you ever think about? Well, excuse me for trying to be helpful.
Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof. Well, it ain't like it could go down. Hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, it's on. Uh, so, <laughs> where is it? Hi. About that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know. It's a stretch. No denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta... Once we're good, let's get a move on.
What's this? Understand, I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's cut it one last time! He's mine! Allow me. with you. 
you. No holding back. Let's try that again. to you don't worry yeah she's right you're gonna be just fine come on the gilded saucer awaits and the keystone yeah Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us, when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message. A declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers, and in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. 
of fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lotbrock took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the Salsa? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kitsef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. Breaking news at this hour. Cloud, I'm picking up proto-relic energy. 
energy signals from a group of robed individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable to ascertain why. So, check it out? How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. In response to last night's illegal broadcast by the SRC, President Rufus Shinra held an emergency press conference this morning. In it, the President denounced the SRC's claims as baseless propaganda and dismissed their alleged Moscow reactor footage as a digital fabrication. The company has launched an investigation into the individual who delivered the address, as well as the nature of the organization he claims to represent.